they are one of the best locations we believe that may harbor life today. Well, it's the stuff of science fiction and what space scientists have been searching for for decades. Life somewhere else in the universe. Today, NASA announced it's found the best clue yet on where it might be. And it's right here in our own solar system. The national science correspondent Bob McDonald is uh, pretty excited about all this. Look, you can tell. Bob, what exactly did NASA discover and why is it so important? Well, Peter, what they found is evidence for uh, an abode for life on the moon of Saturn called Enceladus. I have some images of it. It's an ice moon. It is totally covered in ice and snow. It's white, and underneath that ice, there's an ocean of liquid water. The ice has cracks in it, and in some of those cracks, the ocean is leaking through, spewing water vapor geysers, ice geysers, right out into space. And a spacecraft called Cassini flew right through those geysers and sampled them. And what they found are chemicals that indicate there's something going on at the bottom of the ocean. Hydrothermal vents. That's when the water goes through the rock, forms minerals that then spew out, out into, the, into the water. Now this is very exciting because we have systems like this on Earth. Hydrothermal vents at the bottom of our oceans and there are bacteria that live on those chemicals. And then other creatures like clams and crabs and shrimp that live on the bacteria. Entire ecosystems in total darkness. And they live on chemosynthesis, the chemicals in the water, rather than photosynthesis like we do out here on, on the surface on the sun. So if it's happening here on Earth, maybe it's happening on this moon of Saturn called Enceladus. Now, that's not the only ice world NASA says may uh, support life. Absolutely. There are actually nine ice worlds in our solar system, but the other one they're excited about is Europa, and I have some images of it as well. It's going around Jupiter, also covered in ice, also got cracks on it, and thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, they've seen what look like plumes coming out of it. Now, they haven't been proven yet, but it looks like it's the same kind of thing. So, if these ice worlds have these hydrothermal vents, they could have communities under them, marine communities, uh, where life could exist, so they could be all over our solar system. So what we really need to do is go back to these worlds and start doing a little ice fishing to see what's down there. <laughs> okay. It's exciting. There's no question about it. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Peter.